Hey guys, my name is Ismos, and today we're going to be looking at uh, how to create this kind of composition in Blender. So I'll be using my two add-ons, the, the Asset Library add-on, uh, which just manages your assets, uh, your digital assets, uh, your models and everything, materials, collections, and uh, makes it easier to import them into Blender. And my second add-on, the Cloth Library, which is just a, uh, a library of, or a pack of uh, cloth uh, for your assets. So when I created these add-ons, I wasn't very sure how are useful they they will be but uh now that i'm using them it's uh, kind of difficult for me to do anything without adding them into my workflow they they're really speeding up my work something that would have taken me hours to make as uh, or finding models that uh that i didn't rename correctly i just now i just have to look at uh, the thumbnail and uh, easily add them into the scene the way i want so here you can see that i'm using my cloth library this is an updated an updated version that i'm yet to release uh we have added a few uh models a few cloth elements and uh, the workflow i'm also changing uh, the workflow a bit you can see so you just import uh, the asset directly into the uh the your scene and uh, make a few changes uh, all the sculpt the sculpting tools are already there uh, you can make any changes you want at the go uh, to make uh, the cloth fit onto your character quite easily. This was just me trying to test out the add-ons I've just created to see how they fit, they fit in uh, my workflow and now I can see that uh, it is nearly impossible for me to work without uh, How easily it was for me to add uh, that uh, to dress up the character I uh, was just using this pre-made asset I already made and I just uh, making them fit onto the character without taking a lot of my time sometimes you just want to get into the art uh, to get your ideas out of out of your head and you don't really want uh, the tools to get in your way so uh, the easier the tool makes it for you uh, the better and I think that's why this add-on is very important for me Yeah, so here I'm using the, the asset library. Uh, this is version two, it's already up, and you can see that uh, I'm just re-importing uh, the assets uh, that I've already made uh, quite easily. This has already sped up my workflow by, I think, 200 times because uh, the amount of time it would take me to look through all the blend files I have and uh, to look for the asset I made uh, years ago, or and uh, I usually don't properly name my assets, so it would Take me a lot of time but now i could easily just uh, go through the asset library and uh, look for a thumbnail i don't even have to remember the name i just have to look at uh, the thumbnail and uh, can see how easily it is uh, to import in uh, the assets uh, sometimes i would just remember an, a piece of assets i would want in the in a specific scene because uh, but uh, because it would take me a lot of time to find that asset i'll just give up and uh, just recreate the thing from scratch which, which is just are quite inefficient and uh, yeah wasteful uh, so yeah the add-on is for is for reusing and recycling recycling your digital assets You can see this was a scene I set up in about 30 minutes. I uh, very, very, just reusing the asset I had already spent a lot of energy creating and uh, just recycling them into something different. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I'm just going to let the time lapse continue here. Uh, if you want to get the add on, all the links are going to be available in the description. Thank you.